Hey, what's up guys? Nate here for Sonic Academy. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new plugin. This is SA76 from Sonic Academy. It's of course based on the very famous UA1176 compressor. It was a FET compressor with a feedback detection circuit in it and very well respected for being a great all-round compressor due to its extremely fast attack times. Now this is a free plugin for all Sonic Academy subscribers, so you can go and grab this right now and check this out. Let's dive into the plugin and take a look at some of the controls. Right, so this layout may be familiar to some of you, but we're gonna run through the controls regardless just to kind of take a look at what this can do. Right, so along the top bar, you have some preset management menus as well as uh, manuals, uh, online updates, and so forth. Uh, let's move into the actual compressor here. The 1176 doesn't have a threshold per se. The threshold is essentially controlled by how much you drive the compressor's input and then balance it with the output. You can see we have this little link button here. When this is disabled, each of these move independently, but enabling this will move the input and output uh, relative to one another so that you can keep the uh, output relatively balanced when gaining more into the compressor. Uh, we've got our attack and release times here on the 1176. Moving to the right or the higher number actually means a faster attack. It's not in milliseconds this. So the more to the right you go, the lower the amount of milliseconds the attack will be and the opposite is of course true for the slow to the left. Uh, same goes for the release times. Uh, here we have our ratios. So there are four ratios on the 1176. Currently, uh, we have nothing selected, so there would be zero compression and gain reduction occurring at this stage. We can select a 4 to 1, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, and a 20 to 1 ratio. Now, of course, this does have the famed all button mode as well. Uh, we have some key commands that you can use for this. If you hold down the control key, you can select on and off the different ratio controls and you can of course select the all button mode there if you hold down shift you can get to that a little bit quicker just clicking all of them at the same time and you'll engage the all button mode on the 1176. We've got a few extra little features down here which are not on the original but handy nonetheless. Now we've got a width dial here which will reduce the stereo signal. This will be full stereo and 0% would be mono. This is particularly useful when you're working on mono material but also in parallel mode when you're using this in conjunction with a mix dial to actually focus the compression around the mid channel and leave the sides uncompressed. We've got a high pass filter here for the detection phase. If you end up squashing a signal too hard, you'll tend to lose the lows quite often. This will actually exclude anything below the higher pass filter from the compression circuit, which is handy when compressing kick drums and such. We've got a drive circuit in here as well, a mix knob so you can do parallel compression directly within the plugin, a sidechain gain control here, and of course you can enable sidechain compression uh, with this button over here. Lastly, we've got the metering control. We have off, we have out, we have in, and we have the amount of gain reduction occurring when the compressor is active. Right, so let's jump into some examples and take a look what this sounds like. Now, as I said, uh, with the fast attack, this is the perfect compressor for percussion sounds and drum buses and such. Uh, I've got just some programmed drums from Bitwig's drum machine here, and we're going to dial in a little bit of compression on top of these and just take a listen to what everything sounds like. Let's take a listen to the raw signal. You can see we have input coming through here now, but because we have no ratio engaged currently, there's no compression occurring. And notice as well, when I adjust the output here, uh, the input is actually not moving. It only works the other way around. And this is great for adjusting the balance between your dryer signal and your wet signal. You can balance it there and then increase the amount of compression by turning up the drive. Like that. So let's dial in some compression here. We'll put in uh, just a, let's go for an 8 to 1 on this. You can see we're getting gain reduction now. Adjust that to match it again. Let's take a listen to the attack and release times here. I'm going to dial up some pretty extreme settings so you can really kind of hear what's going on. Uh, we'll go with a really fast attack first and grab all those transients. Now let's bring up the release time as well. You can hear the, the whole signal pumping a lot from the fast release time. It's 
so with that fast release time, it's really kind of bringing out a lot of these sort of uh, sustained material in those drum sounds. The style back on the attack again to let a little bit more of the transients through. We can engage our all button mode. Dry. And wet. Now, the kick is getting a little bit squashed there, so as I said, we could dial up the high pass. To make sure we allow some of those subs through on the bus compression. What we can do also is dial in a little bit of drive. And let's say we want to mono this, so we're applying compression just to the center channel. Uh, we can turn this to a mono signal. And then we can dial back on the mix to do some parallel compression here, but only to the center channel itself. Cool, let's move on to another example. Another great uh, instrument to use a 1176 on is an acoustic guitar. Again, because of the fast attack times, uh, these strumming noises on a guitar string are a perfect candidate for something like this because you can really kind of catch all those fine little transients. I've got an acoustic guitar loop in here and let's take a listen to what this sounds like. I've dialed in some settings here already. I'm using a sort of moderate release. Um, not too worried about bringing up the sustain of this, but I really want to catch the transients. So I've got quite a fast attack speed dialed in here, just with a 4 to 1 ratio. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like dry first, and play close attention to the transients from the plucking of the strings as I turn the compressor on. So this is how dry. Let's switch to wet. Let's bring up the release time. So really nice for this kind of material. Uh, while we're on this as well, let's quickly just show you how to set up a side chain. Uh, what I'll do is quickly set this up in Bitwig. We'll just bring in a kick drum from our drum machine. So we've got the kick drum feeding into the compressor now. Let's solo the kick and take a listen. Let's engage the side chain here. Yeah. And you can see we're getting that side chain. We can lessen the effect by changing the gain here. Yeah. Or by reducing the ratio. And let's take a listen to what happens when we slow the release right down. You can hear that it doesn't have enough time to kind of find its way back in, so you want to dial this up to the point where it's releasing quick enough. And there you go. Let's move on to one last example. We're going to take a listen to this on a vocal track. Right, I've dialed in some settings here again. Uh, I've got a Fairly fast attack speed and a fairly fast release time for this uh, with an 8 to 1 ratio. I'll dial in the input and the output there. And uh, let's take a listen to this. Uh, this vocal in particular has got quite a percussive feel to it. And there's a few sort of heavy consonants at the beginning of some of the phrases that really need to be controlled. So we'll play this back quickly uh, dry and take a listen. I don't know the answer. I don't know a way to find. I'm falling away because every time you're stuck in my mind. You can hear on the words like fall and time, they're very kind of percussive and you want to kind of level that out. So we're using the fast release to kind of bring the sustained material back up quickly and also using the fast attack so we make sure that we catch all of those consonants at the beginning of those phrases. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like now with the compression on. I don't know the answer, I don't know a way to find. I'm falling away because every time you're stuck in my mind. I follow it after, I follow with every sign, you take control and I keep. So we've got a much more uniform level now with that enabled and it sounds way better, it's less all over the place. We'll play that all back together so you can hear all these components with their compression running now. I don't know the answer, I don't know a way to find, I'm falling away cause every time you're stuck in my mind. There you go. 
so that is the overview for the SA76 compressor. As I said, this is free for any Sonic Academy subscribers, so go check this out. I hope you guys found this video useful, and I hope you enjoy the plugin. I will see you soon right here at Sonic Academy. Till then, take care. Cheers.